So this is the laptop that got me through four years of university, two years of business school, which I was not a big fan of, but we can save that for a separate video. And it's basically 10 years old at this point. And I think most people would probably just throw it away and get a new laptop. But for me, this has a lot of sentimental value and it's actually in pretty decent shape. It works perfectly fine. It's just the battery is trash and only lasts maybe an hour and a half, two hours at this point. So we're gonna try our hand at replacing the battery for this 2014 or 2015 MacBook Pro, which I've never done before, but uh, I think we can do it. Honestly, the old Tiger would have just taken this into a shop to get it repaired by a professional, but recently I've been trying to be a little bit more handy and just do things myself if I can. And uh, you know what? A few weeks ago, I did fix this 3DS XL, which was having some issues with the screen turning off randomly. So I opened up the back and just like tinkered around with the ribbons and fixed it. Now, I don't know how I fixed it, but I did. So that gave me a bit more confidence in uh, believing that I can do this as well. Yo, check this out. So if I lift the cover here, the laptop will uh, not turn on. So that's cool. Hmm. Well, this is a perfect example of why we need to change the battery for this thing because I literally charged it this morning, didn't use it, and now it's dead. So what I was trying to show you guys that would have been really cool is um, when you lift the cover and the laptop turns on, the eyes and the arrow for Aang light up because that's where the Apple logo is, right? So uh, maybe I'll save that for the end of the video as a reward for getting to the end, but yeah, unfortunately, that's not gonna be a thing right now. If anyone's wondering why Aang only has the water and earth symbols around him, it's because air and fire got peeled off over the course of the 10 years I owned this laptop. And this original sticker is a vestige from my four month longboard phase that I had in third year. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it in a separate video in the future as well. But uh, yeah, that's the laptop. Um, overall, pretty good condition. I mean, there are some dents at the bottom here. Um, definitely some very noticeable dents in the corners from where uh, my little brother dropped it, but that's totally fine. Not a huge deal. The point is, it still works, and I want to keep using it until it literally explodes. Let's move this over to the side for a second and take a look at this battery repair kit. So it's from Asmark Battery. I got it from Amazon for 60, 70 bucks, which is pretty reasonable, assuming it works, of course. So opening this up, we got you know, all the things we need to, in theory, replace this battery. There's a little bag here with the instructions and a few other things. Here's a little uh, rubber spudger, I think it's called, or spatula for pushing things. <laughs> and we got two screwdrivers. This is a uh, very sharp stick, and I don't know what this is for either, but I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> and. Uh, of course, the actual battery itself right there. So let's take a look at the instructions. I feel like that's a good place to start. MacBook Pro 13 inch, late 2013 to mid 2015, model A1502. Time to complete 60 minutes. I feel like that is very optimistic. So on this page, we got six steps, which is not bad. Oh, hold on. There is more on this page. And there's more in the back. Okay, so in total, we have 36 steps. 36 steps. Um, this might take a while. It's fine. I've put together a lot of uh, IKEA furniture in my time. So I'm gonna just treat this like a really fancy, high-tech IKEA coffee table. 
and we should be okay. Step one, completely power off and unplug your MacBook before you start, then place a sheet of non-woven paper between the display and the keyboard to protect the display. So I'm assuming they mean this thing. So we just unfold this and place it right here and then close it, I guess. Done. Step two, use the P5 pentalobe driver to remove the screws on the lowercase. Note the screws are very soft. Please be careful when you work. If the screw head is damaged, please stop disassembly. Replace the professional tools and disassemble again. Looks like he's using the uh, blue screwdriver. Got it. Now let's flip this over and remove these screws around the edges. Now, before anyone calls me extra for the gloves, they did come with the kit, okay? So I'm just trying to make sure I do everything right. And that is the last screw. Step three, remove the lower case. So I guess we just kind of peel this off. Oh, that was, that was, that was easy. Dude, it is really dusty in there. Okay, so it looks like this entire lower half here, like all these blocks are the battery. Step four, lift the battery connector to pry the connector out of its socket on the logic board. Then bend the battery connector back, ensuring that the battery connector disconnects from the logic board. Okay, so this is where things get a little bit um, tricky. So we're trying to take this piece off the board right now, but I'm not really sure where to grab it. Um, Oh, I don't know about this one, guys. Am I supposed to peel this off first and then remove something? Or is this part of the connector? I guess we're just gonna have to peel it and see what happens. Um, I very well could be f***ing up my battery or f***ing up my laptop in general, but um, we'll see. Well, I peeled this off. Not really sure if I was supposed to, but um, What's done is done. Based on the picture, it looks like this thing is the connector. So I guess I just go like that. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Step five, use the T5 Torx driver to remove the screw of the battery board. So now we need the green screwdriver and we have two screws, one over here and one over here. Okay, step six, remove the screws of the speaker. And done. Step seven, remove the screws of the speaker. Wait, what? Oh, on the other side. Step eight is lift the speaker. And step nine is carefully turn the speaker upside down, turn the speaker on the other side in the same way. Okay, so there goes the speaker very carefully and on the other side oh this one's not really budging oh no there it goes done step 10 remove the screws of the trackpad cable connector bracket looks like this step 11 remove the trackpad cable connector bracket oh that's it Disconnect the trackpad cable by gently prying its connector straight up from the logic board. Oh, that's where the sharp stick comes in. Oh, that was easy. Step 13, carefully peel the trackpad cable off the battery and push it out of the way. Don't crease or tear the cable. Oh, it's like glued on there, but it's coming along. Just gotta be very slow and careful not to break anything. There we go. Step 14, prepare alcohol or adhesive remover, similar to the one in the picture for removing the battery cells. So they don't actually provide you with the alcohol in the kit, but I did find some 91% isopropyl alcohol, which I think does work, and also some makeup remover pads. Uh, don't ask me where I got these. Step 15, put a plastic card to the edge of the battery cell, slowly pour about five drops of alcohol, along the plastic card and slowly push the card to pry up the battery cell. Um, uh, I don't know about this one, guys. So these are the cards they give us and it says to pour alcohol along the edge of the card 
to remove the battery. All right, maybe we can try it without the alcohol first and see how that goes and then use it if we need it. So I'm gonna just start like prying here. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be really budging, unfortunately. Okay, so it looks like the alcohol is required. Okay, so I'm not really sure how we're gonna do this, but I'm gonna use this and then we'll pour some of the isopropyl alcohol on it, like so. And then I guess we just like squeeze some onto the card and uh, see how that goes. Maybe I'll just like put it on the card there and then squeeze some. Okay, so we got a little bit of alcohol on there. I don't know if it's enough, but let's just see how that goes. Oh, okay, it's going in, it's going in. That's what she said. Oh, it's kind of tight though. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. Nice, beautiful. Honestly, I don't know if the alcohol did anything or if I just like pushed harder than last time. It looks like we're just supposed to repeat the process for the entire battery um, along the case, like all the pieces. So here we go. Woo! Okay, there we go. Okay, so both sides are removed, or at least are uh, loose from the body of the laptop. Now we gotta work on these middle ones. Yo, I'm not gonna lie guys, these middle batteries are kicking my ass. Oh, okay, it's sliding in. All right, okay, it's sliding in there. Come on. Ooh, oh my God. There you go. Battery off. Well, this is an absolute mess. We're now on step 22, lift and remove the battery. Did that, step 23, after removing the battery, use the spudger to shovel up the edge of the adhesive and try to keep the adhesive intact. Dude, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> oh my God. This is literally um, one of the top 10 most annoying things I think I've ever done in my life. And I'm starting to question whether it's even necessary to remove this, but uh, since I already started, might as well finish it. Okay, um, that is about as clean as I'm gonna get it. Things got much easier once I realized that I can just use my hands to peel off the adhesive, at least the big pieces, instead of this stupid stick. Um, so there you go, step 24. Before installing your new battery, remove all remaining adhesive from the upper case, done. Step 25, where is that? Pick up the new battery, adjust the position alignment, and then keep the battery tilted. Step 26, keep the battery tilted, then tear off the adhesive paper film on the back of the battery cell. Adjust the position and align the battery board hole with the logic board hole. Then pat the battery flat down. Huh. Okay, so I'm picking up the new battery now. There it is. And I guess we just kind of align it with the uh, the holes, or, or I guess this is the main part that we have to make sure is aligned. Yeah, that, that, that looks good. Okay, and what's next? Okay, so yeah, um, battery's in position now, I believe. Uh, oh, we have to put this back into the logic board. Uh, actually, oh wait, no, no, no. First, we have to remove the film on the back to expose the glue 
and then we attach the batteries to the laptop like so uh, that looks good that looks okay that looks okay and that is okay as well I think I think that's good I think that's good it looks like everything's like in place you know um, am I a little bit concerned yeah but uh, what can you do <laughs> so now it looks like we have to uh, screw this thing back in um, but the problem is I don't know exactly which screw was there before um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pick one and hopefully it's the right one um, let's go with let's go with this one uh oh oh snap I dropped it where'd it go oh here it is hopefully this is the right one if not then well there's not much I can do well it did screw in there so that's good um, and now we have to bend this thing I said bend this inside and then reattach this to the logic board, the battery to the logic board. Okay, um, we're bending, we're bending, and we are attaching. Bend, and attach. Okay, all right. Wow, that, that was okay, yeah. That sounded good. That was a good snap. Step 29, slowly remove the clear protective film from the new battery. Then press each part of the battery cell repeatedly to make the new battery fit tightly to the MacBook. Okay, yeah, it feels like it's uh, pretty solidly attached to the MacBook, from what I can tell. Step 30, put the trackpad cable flat along the middle cell battery, or sorry, battery cell. Align the trackpad cable with the trackpad cable connector socket and press it gently to fasten it. We go like this, attach it to the new battery, and then just shove it in there. Okay, it's in there. Step 31, put the trackpad cable connector bracket in place and use the T5 Torx driver to install the two screws. Step 32, carefully turn back both speakers. It's uh, not going in. What's going on here? Oh, there we go, okay. And this other one. Nice. Step 33, use the T5 Torx driver to install the screws on both speakers. Pay attention to the length of the screws. So it looks like the shortest one's on the bottom, the longest one is in the corner, and the medium one is at the top, okay. Hmm. Okay, so this one wouldn't fit into the bottom hole or the corner one, so it must be the top one. If it's not, then I don't, I don't know. Okay, that's the right one, that's the right one. So I think the longest one still goes in the corner, but maybe not, we'll see. Okay, that seems to be a good fit. And the tiny one, I think, is the bottom. Now, does it really matter? Probably not. I don't know. I mean, if my speakers sound f***ed up when I put everything back together, then we'll know why. Okay, speakers are in place. Only a few more steps, guys. We're almost there. Uh, step 34 says, align the battery connector with the connector of its socket on the logic board and press it to fasten it. Oh, I already did that. They're talking about this. Step 35, put the insulating sticker covering on the battery board. Okay, and then finally, 
uh, cover the lower case and use the P5 pencil driver to install the screws in the lower case and press the middle of the lower case ensuring the clip, hidden clip has been locked. Then you can start using the MacBook now. Wait, there are two extra screws. Where do they go? What? Hold on, hold on. Um, yo, that's so weird because I'm looking through the entire instruction manual like multiple times and I cannot find where I missed these two extra screws. What did I do? Well, I guess um, this is gonna be one of those unsolved mysteries um, that's always gonna bother me. But as long as the laptop still works and as long as the new battery works, it's not a huge deal. Um, but it is gonna bother me for a while. Nonetheless, we have the sticker here. Let's just peel it off and put it here, I guess. Um, that seems about right. That seems about right. Just give it a little rub. Just really get it in there. And now we should be good. Now we should be good. So back cover goes on like so. It's not quite snapping to place the way I want it to, but I think once we put on the screws, it shouldn't be a big deal. So let's just do that. Okay, um, all 10 screws are on. This one is a little tight and doesn't seem to be quite in the right place. Like it's just a little bit misaligned, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. So now it is time for the moment of truth. Let's see if my laptop works. Oh, I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but I tried my best. And uh, if that's not enough, then it is what it is. So here we go. <sighs> I'm not sure if you guys can see the screen, or at least maybe part of it. Um, power button. Okay, okay, okay. No, for a second I was like, I f***ed up. I f***ed up, it doesn't work, but no. It did turn on. Okay, it's loading, um, which might take a while because once again, very old laptop, but we're almost there. And I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, battery is at 69%, <laughs> nice. And before there was a message um, that was like, your battery capacity is significantly reduced and uh, maintenance or repair is recommended. Basically telling me to take it into the Apple store to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to have their people repair it. But no, I did it myself and it seems to be working perfectly fine. So for now, we did it guys. The surgery, the operation was a success and my laptop has a new lease on life which is pretty awesome. Guys, I gotta be honest, I'm very, very happy right now because I wasn't really sure if I could do it. I wasn't really sure if I could do this battery swap by myself because it seemed really complicated, right? But no, it seems to have gone perfect and I saved myself a lot of money and more importantly, I gained a lot of confidence in my ability to do stuff like this in the future. If, you know, either this laptop or one of my other electronics breaks down, I can just do it myself. I feel like this might awaken something in me, man. Yo, this might turn into a electronics repair channel for all we know, because I'm still trying to figure out like what I want to focus on in the future going forward. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, before we go, of course, as promised. How sick is that? Um, of course, it would be even better with the, you know, two missing uh, nation logos, the fire and air symbols. But uh, 
it's fine. It's fine. It's still dope. I still love it. And that's going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. It's pretty random, I know, but I did say in uh, my life update video that, you know, we're going through an experimental phase in the history of this channel right now. Uh, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm just going to make videos about whatever comes to mind, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm interested in. And uh, <laughs> this was next in line, apparently. So uh, stay tuned for more random crap going forward. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it because I actually had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, like I said, I have put together a lot of IKEA furniture in the past. I really enjoy doing that. And this was kind of like putting together IKEA furniture, except with a laptop and uh, the feeling of just getting it done and having everything go smoothly and actually have my laptop work at the end is, uh, is pretty amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Surgery success. Your boy is officially a laptop surgeon. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Africa Media. Signing out.